Scudio, happy Halloween. Today we'll be going with, sorry, one second, War 5 by Holy Cow. And we'll be matching it with the Declaration B3. And I think this matches perfectly with the colors. Look at that, red and black. It's like a match made in heaven. As you can see, I already loaded it um, just to save time. Um, yeah, let's get to it. We'll be going with the uh, grooming department. Use an almond size. Uh, appreciate that is. Man, that's too much appreciative, but whatever. Whatever. I don't really need it with this base. This is one of my favorite bases on the market. Fantastic stuff. A little pricey, but post shave on it. Phenomenal. No drying whatsoever. It feels like you applied a bomb to your face. You could probably forego an aftershave for sure. I only got the aftershave so you can uh, match the scent, make it last longer. All right, we were slick as hell. Anyways, let's get into it. Um, hold on, I need my alum. Here we go. Actually, let me rub that in. So how you, how you guys doing, guys? Uh, comment below what you guys used to shave on Halloween, if you did. A lot of people have been using Hallows. What else? Um, I don't know. What's another Halloween soap? I've seen a couple of other YouTubers use this. Uh, cool stuff. What else? I can't think of anything right now. <laughs> Anyways. Um, anything dark. You could use Dark Fall. You could probably use Dark Fall. What else? I don't know. Anything dark. Oh, I wanted to use Atomic Pumpkin. But I had this. I feel like Atomic Pumpkin is like a perfect... Um, perfect Halloween scent, right? Yeah. But whatever you feel like using. You know? Here, yeah, comment below. But, very interesting scent, guys. Um, one thing I can tell you about Sri, <laughs> when he's making scents, is when it comes to making it interesting, he never disappoints. Whose scents are the opposite of generic? They always keep you challenged. Kind of reminds me of a little bit of Mo from Grooming Department. <laughs> always keeping you on your toes when it comes to the scent. But... Um, the base does not disappoint. He uses very good ingredients in here. Um, and he has stepped up the artwork. I know DK noted that in his video. Look at this artwork. Fantastic. I have been looking forward to this. It's not my favorite scent, but I, I think it's nice. It's not dark at all. <laughs> You would think in the fall or, uh, you would think in the fall or the, yeah, uh, fall or Halloween theme scent would be dark. Nope. But yeah, um, the notes that come to my nose are, first of all, it's the raspberry. Hits you the best, hits you the hardest. And... Like, it's got, like, a weird undertone. It's, like, a mess. It's like, I get the musk, for sure. And I don't really get the leather. Maybe a little... Yeah, it's got to be the cashmere in... I don't know. I wish I knew what cashmere in smelled like. Because it's weird. It's the saffron. That's what it is. It's got... What do we got? We got... Geranium, raspberry, nutmeg, nutmeg, saffron, oud, black tea... Cashmere and musk, leather, amber and vanilla. So maybe it's the oud mixed with the amber and the saffron. Gives like a little weird musky undertone covered by the uh, raspberry for sure. It's very interesting. Um, if you're looking for a unique scent, something to challenge you, maybe check this one out. Definitely different. But it's not bad. I kind of like it. I kind of wish uh, 
more of the leather came through in the leather. Other people have been saying they get the black tea, but I'm not sure I get it. I feel like it's other stuff, but nevertheless, it's not bad. I like it. My favorites would probably be uh, Entropy Man and Holy Cow Rebel. Excellent stuff. All right, five minutes in. Oh, today we're going with the Mula Raka. I only used this once. I thought I was gonna follow up with another video. I guess I got caught up doing other stuff. You know me, always distracting myself. All right, Astra SP, second use. I'm gonna try the two finger thing. Yeah. Very smooth razor. I My complaint last time that the lather channels were non-existent <laughs> and uh, very top heavy. So this actually doesn't work. I gotta hold it higher instead of lower. I gotta kinda hold it higher to get that balance and control. Yeah. It feels like a Rockwell, honestly. Like a Rockwell on plate five. Which is kind of a good thing. That's kind of a compliment. Because that's shaving wise. Dope razor. As you can see, we got some residual soap, some soap lather. Oh, we can't see it. Eh, it's not too bad. I could probably mitigate this by using a heavier handle, but I like the black one. I want to use the one that comes with it, you know? Whatever. Probably get used to it. So far, we are irritation free. Very nice. Alright, we're fully. <laughs> Alright, yeah, so you just gotta run the water directly on the blade. One of my commenters said that in the last Mulo video, and it seems to be working. Yep. It struggled with CK6, that stuff is thick, but it seems to be doing okay with this. Yeah, so I already had some candy. Had another declaration mail call, so I had some jelly beans. <laughs> um, nice. Good stuff, guys. We're gonna lather up for the second pass. Going on the face today. <laughs> Give you a close up. This stuff is creamy as hell. I noticed in um, DK's video, he had trouble building a lather with it. I don't know if he didn't scoop enough. He said he scooped a decent amount, I think. I don't know, but I got plenty of lather from a 40 second load. And this is a pretty dense brush. It is a 24, so it's not the biggest brush. But got plenty of lather for two or three, maybe even four passes. Probably be thin by the fourth for sure. Maybe by the third. You'll see. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite knots. It's just scrubby, but soft at the same time. Like it's not soft, but it, it, yeah, it is kind of soft. Like it's not scratchy, it's not poking. Great flow through. And since it's like smaller, it's kind of like easier to control than like a 28. 28 will like, the worst my whole face sometimes, especially if it's dense. So I'm eating soap at this point. And even though it's raspberry scented, it doesn't taste like candy. <laughs> Anyways, let's do it. I'm gonna try to do this pass with single strokes. Normally I do like 
bunch of short strokes, but wanna see how it goes. Okay. Try it on against the green. Ugh. There you go. <laughs> that was not to my satisfaction. <laughs> All right. Nice. The blade feel kind of reminds me of the Henson, but it feels like it has a bigger gap. Like you feel like you could feel the gap more. If that makes any sense. I like the Henson. To many people, it might be too mild, but as someone who appreciates both mild and aggressive razors, I like it. Um, to me, efficiency is more important than whether, whether it has blade feel or not. Um, yeah, Ooh. feeling good. <sighs> no one has a better game at matching the brush shave of the day, I think, recently than Mac Shaves. His brushes just match his razors and his soaps. Ken's pretty good too, actually. I don't have enough gear to do that. <laughs> um, yeah, Ken, or he used to, he probably sold it off. He had quite the brush collection. Um, yeah, um, I'd rather, like personally, I'd rather have like, I mean, no, nah, actually he had a ton of nice brushes. I was gonna say I'd rather have a couple nice brushes than, than a lot of them not so nice, but come to think about it, he had a shit ton of nice brushes, so I take that back. Ooh, feels nice. I know you hear that feedback. <clears throat> yeah, so let me know what soaps you guys are using. Um, if it's just regular stuff, whatever. Uh, it doesn't have to be seasonal. I don't use, I before this year, I don't think I ever had seasonal stuff. Other than like for the holidays, I never have anything for like Halloween uh, or fall type scent. Not that I know of. It was kind of like barbershops and the usual, the usual. Finish up and then we will rinse and see you guys for the post shave. All right, we did get some blood though. Um, no idea where, <laughs> as usual. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you guys in the post shave. All right, guys, we're back. So awesome shave. I did get a tiny cut on the Adam's apple here. Um, user error, I'm sure, but um. Great post shave on this base. My skin feels soft, supple, doesn't feel dry at all. Um, which I do notice from use, even ones I used previously, differences in it. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go with the matching Vor 5 post shave. I believe this is Roman numeral 5. I don't think it's V, but I'm not sure. So <laughs> I'm just gonna call it 5. Um, yeah, get my face a little wet. It's too wet. Now we're good. Um, I'm going to apply some Sturium Serum because I like to mix that stuff with my Splash. It's good stuff. This has the dragon's blood. <laughs> I forgot the benefits are, so don't ask. <laughs> I have to look it up. And nothing is coming out. Three, four, five, six. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That's a good amount. Yeah, so if you like raspberry and you think you'd like a musky raspberry, maybe with some amber and uh, 
some amber and saffron mixed in. I pick up this scent. I don't pick up the black tea like some other people do. Um, that's just me. So other people's pick it up. So, you know, take that what you will. But yeah, I enjoy this stuff. I thought it was a good shave. Overview. Four or five with the B3. Ooh, we gotta make that. Can we make that the, there you go. Maybe we can make this the thumbnail. Nice. It's not showing off the brush. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's it, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.